Yeah, you're in blue, aren't you? For those of you who don't know or don't have snakes, um, when a snake is in blue, it means that it's going through its blue phase of shedding. So like, Hannibal's scales, you can't really see it, but his scales look darker and dull looking and his eyes, well, you can kind of see how cloudy they are, but they don't look really like purpley blue, but in the proper lighting, they look cloudy and blue and purple and really pretty. And this is caused by a fluid buildup between the new and old layers of skin. Um, during this phase, it, ugh, I really would not advise handling your snake at all. Um, they're super grumpy. Most snakes are. Um, Hannibal will let me hold him, but he's just kind of jumpy. But it's it really stresses them out, and it's not. It's just not advised. Um, the cloudiness over their eyes actually impairs their vision so they're just not at their best and they're uncomfortable and just don't do it unless you have to um i took him out because he has a few scales that i was worried about but they look fine now hannibal starts the actual shed process by rubbing his nose on something um to loosen the skin like here it's usually this tree thing oh there it goes and after that, it just everything starts to peel off all in one piece if it's a good shed, unlike lizards. Um, but he just kind of continues to rub around on everything, like on his water bowl or his little half log thing, and it helps to pull it along. So basically, I know Hannibal's going to shed because for a week before the process starts, or one, two weeks, he actually starts to move around in his tank more, he's a lot more active and always seeking food, he gets really nippy, um, and then after that, after I do feed him the last time, he goes off and he digests like normal but he just, he stays hidden way more than he normally does. Yeah, don't you? You like to hide out and be nippy. Look at you, scooting along. And as he starts to hide out, then he starts to get cloudy and go blue, and he just kind of stays hiding until... I mean, sometimes he comes out and he has a drink, but not usually. After that, how it normally goes is I'm doing something, or I'm near the tank. Um, I've been lucky, I've always been there when he sheds. Um, but I'll start to hear, like, shuffling louder than normal. Um, he just kind of starts to rub on everything, it's, it's very audible. And, uh, speaking of audible, uh, sorry about the Silent Hill noises in the background, that's my ceiling fan. <sighs> but, um, the entire process from when he, like, starts going into blue till he's done shedding takes a little over a week. Um, sometimes a little longer. And then the actual shed part, unedited, obviously, is, well, usually around 12 minutes. It depends on if he has a hard time or not, or if it starts to roll or anything. And um, rolling is just when the skin starts to roll on itself instead of just coming off normally. Um, that can be dangerous, not normally, but um, if you fed your snake during um, when it's in blue, sometimes if it starts to shed, um, the roll can get stuck where the food is on the bump and uh, start to constrict the blood and it can be very 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 harmful. Um, so it's it's best not to feed your snake when you know he or she has gone into blue. But if you don't realize your snake is in blue and you do feed it, it's not a big deal. I would just keep an eye on them and make sure. But it it's pretty rare. I've never personally seen it. So that's some information about shedding and 
here's a higher quality video than the last one of Hannibal shedding.